tonight, an NBC world premiere movie. Faster than a flying cactus. Hey, nice moves. More powerful than a speeding truck. Jeez, I just wanted to pull over. Able to leap on sexy women in a single bound. Take care, I'll show you sometime. Look, up in the desert, it's a dune buggy. It's a plane. It's the police. It is the desert air. They should do crazy things. Yes, it's the police, with powers and abilities far beyond those of normal sheriffs. Well, aren't we professional? So hang on for a wild ride with the desert rats next. Stands as a monument to time. We at Arizona National Bank take pride in our monuments. The Southwest is growing, and we're growing with it. For all your banking needs, come to the time-honored bank of the Southwest, Arizona National, where your money is the safest money in Arizona. Arizona National, where your money's always safe. And the cooling trend continues. It's a balmy 106 degrees at KBNT in Phoenix. Stay here. When I come out that door, be ready to jam. It's okay. Forget about it. Don't no, no, about it's it. okay. Look, it's good. I'll give you a little money, okay? It's really not that bad. It's, you know, it, it's... It's like cottage cheese. Let's make the delivery, Bodie. You want to get canned? It'll be the first time. <laughs> we'll be back, all right? We'll take care of it. Can you move your truck, please? Just a second, pal. Joshua? 
I'm, uh, I'm Mort LaDonka. Del, Del sent me to get you. I know you. We went to high school together. He was a man who served us with enthusiasm. Desire, if you will. Judge me, O oh Lord. You should have been there. I, have in I was there. What that kid did with a bag of nickels was beautiful. I, I heard it was dimes. <clears throat> Did you hear the radio this morning? They're laughing all the way to Tucson. Come on, Larry, it's good PR. Everybody loves a hero. He's 25 years old, and besides, he's reckless. He's always been reckless. Listen here, Frank. We had a hell of a time explaining how we found the sheriff here. In bed with a heart attack with some hooker. Hope our new sheriff has a better heart. Jeez, when did they build all this, sir? I said, when did they? Did you call me, sir? Don't ever call me that. Yes, sir. It's rush hour. It's what? Rush hour. Well, more. Cops, aren't we? Makes us special, doesn't it? Oh, no, we couldn't do that. Oh. I get Mark! <laughs> What happened to the old building? They painted over it. Deputy Ramirez, Deputy Chavez, and Deputy Littlefeet. These are cops. They look like she'd be running a restaurant. <laughs> These are reserves. Uh, they work search and rescue. Well, you guys ought to sharpen up a bit, huh? Maybe uh, press those uniforms. Do a few sit-ups, yeah? Where's Deputy Bones? You'd be surprised to see me. Oh boy, is he. Look at that. Old Tony's name right where he left it. You know what the hell is the way? What did it say? They, uh, they remember you on a number of counts. They're not really sure that they want to work for you. I'll go get Bones. Joshua, welcome aboard. How you doing? These are Supervisors Willis and Baumgartner. Nice to see you. And you know Lou Ormsby, our county engineer? I was there at the bank. I mean, I saw what you did. A man like you can really handle yourself. No. Can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, sure. What the hell is he doing here? Look, Dell, this is crazy. I think the reserves just quit. No kidding. Well. Oh, they were a bit touchy. Touchy? Look, I want the job to work, you know that. I don't want to let you down here. No. Look, 
you just lean on your own resourcefulness and you'll catch on. Haven't I always believed in you? Yeah, but... <laughs> Hell, nothing ever happens in this county anyway, Josh. What about Bones? Oh, yeah, Bones. Listen, we gotta take off. It's nice seeing you. Gentlemen? Yeah, certainly. So long, Josh. Josh. Dell! Dell. The keys? The what? Keys! See you later, Sheriff. Anybody in there? See, you already made an impression. So, you're the new county sheriff, huh? Joshua, you gotta tell me, was this a weak moment on your part, or are you generally nuts, old? Do you have to smoke? We haven't gotten along too good in the past, all right? And, uh, well, I've done a few things that were a little colorful. Colorful? I'll say. You're damn near psychedelic. I took the liberty of looking up your rap sheet. Reckless driving, disorderly conduct. Now, here's colorful. A brawl at the Oasis Dance Club that damn near put Harvey Peltzner out of business. That's colorful. Have a bad night. So why don't I just file this? You being such an adult now, Chief. So we got any uh, big crimes to solve? Uh, a little dope ring or something? Well, Bones has been looking into some mayhem reports. What's mayhem? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting started on it. Well, Deputy, aren't I supposed to be informed? Oh, information. You want information? Sure, I got plenty of that. Arrest records, subpoenas, eviction notices. We have outstanding warrants. Oh, here's one. Here's one for uh, Wyatt Horton. You knew him. Went to school with him, didn't you? And uh, Jason Brett. Jason? Yeah, he graduated cum laude. Right into auto theft. Liberty County, this is State Police Dispatcher 111. Referring to 961. 
one non-injury involving an 18-wheeler on Route 42. All right, Chief, let's see what kind of a driver you are. All right. Watch the shoulders there. Sure, it was a truck did this. They had the tire tracks right there. Did you do this? Why would anybody destroy an entire grocery store? Maybe they didn't like the produce. All those off-roaders are in town for the race, so uh, it could be trouble. You wear those shades to bed? You know, it's a funny thing about those truckers. Before they got out and flattened the store, they showed themselves. What do you think, Chief? Maybe they had nice faces. Bones, I didn't get off the turnip truck yesterday, okay? Whatever you say, Chief. Stop calling me Chief. It's Howard Harry coming to you live from Phoenix. And the search is on for Jumpin' Joshua Bodine. It was reported today that Sheriff Josh took a close inspection of his own jail cell, only to find out he was exercising his crib privileges. Keep those tips coming. The hot line's open. <laughs> Bring your bag of nickels. Dimes! Wait a minute, you don't just run into something like this. Hey, Josh. How you doing? Hey, good boy. Nice bag. Oh. No! Or you are out one deputy. He's biting my leg! Got it! All right. All right, Keith. You may be Dell's son, but you pull another stunt like that, and I'll have him ground you like a tent stake. <laughs> Tell a nice friend, Keith. Hey, these guys are stuff for the races, Josh. Off-roaders, they're all crazy. They were all pulling for you, Josh. Maybe catch you later at the Oasis, huh? Come on, guys. Mort, you okay? Yeah, except I got a hit in the ear. Who would hit somebody in the ear? All right, look, you and I will take the Land Cruiser. We'll cover the boulevard. You take the patrol car and cover the highway. There's nobody on the highway. That's my point. You got a lot of points, don't you, Bones? That's huh? right, Sue. So you won't mind hearing one more. Sam Faraby was a damn straight law officer. And I'd have gone to the wall for him any time. And young man, you just better hope I'll do the same for you sometime. Can't stand it! It's great, wasn't it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Sheriff Joshua Bogey. You. I, not now. Hey, Tony. I'd like to report a crime, Sheriff. Crime? Yeah. Yeah, it happened a long time ago. And the suspect fled. Did you get a good look at him? Vividly. Charges. There's a hot little number that we used to do with old Josh. Maybe we can get him up here. <laughs> I always love that song. Got any Twinkies? Twinkies? Shotgun for Sam? 12 gauge is. Great. I'll take it. And some shells. Eight's good enough? Uh, I'd rather you not load that thing in here. Relax. It'll be empty soon. You'd like to tell us just what you were doing last night while the rest of the county was being destroyed. Well, that's a little complicated. In right? all fairness, Larry, these are some unusual crimes, and Josh can't be every place at once. He could damn sight keep his pants on at least. We know sooner hire this kid, and the whole county starts to come unglued. The criminal element thinks we're pushovers. You just hang in there, Josh. You're doing good. 
whole my whole life's been wiped out. Is this the county's idea of a joke? Boy, they really did it to you, didn't they, Mel? I'm ruined. Look at it. Got any idea who could do something like this? I gotta talk to him. Strictly up to you, Mel. That guy's been after me for months to sell out to him. Who? Oh. Well, Bones, do you mind asking who that might be? No, not at all, Chief. Thank you. Mel. Barlow, that developer, he's got that tract on the east side of Liberty. He says Barlow, the guy with right. the Right, okay, great. Well, let's go. Hey, wait a minute. Easy, easy. You don't have probable cause, much less a search warrant. You can't just run out there. Well, I'll go question him, okay? Let's go. You and your little buddy will go together? Mort, come on, let's go. Well, read it back to me, Mort. Maybe it'll make more sense that way. Possible six suspects, all Caucasian, likely middle-aged, driving new touring motorcycles. And I quote, they looked like the PTA. <laughs> Great. Maybe it's the desert air. Maybe you do crazy things, you know? Like become a cop. Has anything like this happened before? Before his store got burned down? Two months ago. There was a small campground in the middle of nowhere. They leveled it. It was real strange. Do you think they were connected? Beats me. Bones and Sheriff Farabee investigated it. What did Bones think? He thought it was real strange. Yeah. You know, if everybody thinks Bones is so hot, why didn't they just make him the sheriff? Dell and the others, they were sort of <clears throat> looking for uh, an image, you know? A hero? Yeah, sort of. And it was kind of a, a fiscal thing. I was cheaper. Bones has got 20 years of the department. In six months, he can retire. To tell you the truth, I think that's why he didn't quit when they gave you the job. about you is different. Oh, I, I got contacts. Good. I figured around you would be safer. That's a good idea, but don't play classical when I'm driving. Hot on the trail of Snappy Tom and Prune Juice cans, bouncing baby Bo Dean, Sheriff of Liberty County, is after the polyester pack who pounced on a small truck stop. What is it night. with this guy? It was reported the incident took place. You think I did what? My sons and me, we hold tight. You accuse one of us, you accuse us all. OK, I accuse you all. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on, Mel, you can't go accusing them without any proof. You just stay out of this, boy. Don't talk to me that way, Barlow. I'm the county sheriff. Oh, is that right? Well, here's what I think of the county sheriff. Yeah, you are! You're a hothead! Huh? Yeah, that's right! Well, I'm a hothead, too! You got a right to be here? You got a search warrant? Get out, let me go! Come on, Mort. Jennifer? Irrepressible, isn't he? Josh! Yes, oh, I oh, Looking wow. good. Yeah, how you been? Good. All right. 
What's he doing up there? Oh, it's for a stunt show. He calls it Sudden Death. It's so like him. <laughs> When's he come down? Well, that's a loaded question. Occasionally, he grounds out, but uh, don't hold your breath. Uh, you know Mort, right? Mort? How are you doing? Oh. Yeah. Hey, Owen! Hey, hold up! No, no, look. No, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm busy. I'm busy. What's wrong with you? Come on, Owen, hold You're up! All right. Come on, Owen, stop! I didn't do anything, Josh. Maybe a couple misdemeanors, you know, but... Come on, I gotta talk to you. Look, you, it's not like Bone says. I mean, you know me. I, I got my rights, too. Okay, Owen, look, I don't want to arrest you. I just need your help. Well? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what do you think? Some home improvements, huh? Oh, this is great! Yeah. In fact, I found that parachute pack in the desert. Can you get a job? Yeah, if I can fly the plane at the same time. What's that? Oh, that's a uh, device created to give parents heart attacks. Okay, I'm talking plank, pal. You know? You're Billy Runaway, the skateboard pro. Yeah, that's my byline. Yeah, yeah. I write, I write for this mag. Josh gave me the name in high school. Anyway, I make a buck, you know, barnstorming the major events, doing my, my death show. And I, uh, check it out, I write, I compete, you know, but the, the cash flow is a little choked up right now. You want a hog grind? No, thanks. Just gave him up. Yeah. Look, uh, Owen, I gotta talk to you. Okay. Yeah. What's up? <clears throat> Look, we need some major surgery. What, the car? That rust factory? Man, that's a police car. I'm sorry, but that's a, that's a karma thing. Come on, Owen, you're a genius at this stuff. I'm sorry. I, I gotta live with myself, Josh. Well, can we borrow the tools, or is that a karma thing, too?
coincidence. Yeah, well, it's not really a coincidence. I, uh, what is this thing? I've got something for Owen here. It's a warrant for his arrest. Six misdemeanors, including landing an airplane on a public highway. What are you talking about? It's illegal, Chief. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll see your six misdemeanors, and I'll raise you one invoice. $3,200, parts and labor. Pay up or I'll call a cop. Wait, 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 wait a minute, come on. Let me just try this baby out first, okay? We'll see if it works, and we can talk. That's All I'm saying is that he can swap his misdemeanor charges for community service. Yeah, but you can't make him a cop. That's a cop? I mean, what, are you crazy? I got my self-respect. You don't have any, Owen. You're 26 years old. It's time to wake up. You've never done anything respectful in your life. 26? I didn't know. Look, he's got an airplane, Bones. We can use it for search and rescue. Yeah, we can car. find out who's in those road drive yeah, Come on, you know I don't like to agree with Bones, but I mean, a, a cop? I mean, a uniform? It's not my color. Watch this. I'm glad to see it's you. You're going about war speed back there, Bruce. Oh, jeez, Josh. I'm really sorry. This is a company car. I get a ticket. It's all over. All right, all right. Go on, get out of here. Greatest, Josh. I'm gonna name my first kid after you, I swear. I thought, you, I thought you already had a kid. I'll rename him. Look, I pulled him over. It's my call. If you pull somebody over, you can make any call you want. This is a speed trap. Shut, Shut up, up, Owen! Drivers. Is there a problem, deputy? Uh, is this a new car? That's right. We're just testing it. Well, how about that for a coincidence? We were just testing our new car. Look at that. It better not cost the county. That's all I gotta say. Right. Well, carry on.
took you so long? He had every light in town. <clears throat> Owen? Yeah? Shirt? Come on, Mark. Men in blue. Talked about something. Okay, right, I know it's been a long time, you know, since I've been here. It's all there. What's this? Oh, don't give me that. What's this? You know what it is. <laughs> so, Mark, when did the department start hiring girls? <laughs> Sheriff Faraby took protection money. Just like clockwork. I mean, every other Wednesday. He was supposed to be out here? He had some honey up north. He always used to stop by here first. They found his body in Phoenix, but he was supposed to be out here, right? Weird, huh? OK, well, thanks for the information, OK? I'll... I don't work that way. <laughs> Do you understand the basic principle of mass times velocity? I gotta talk to you guys. Where are you going? guy drives north every other week on the same day just to cheat on his wife. Like clockwork. Right. Now, why would his body be found 100 miles south on that same day? Maybe you had a bad sense of direction. Well, I suppose if there was an autopsy, uh, something would have been found. Come on, Morgan. There, there wasn't one. He had a heart attack and died. I was not about to have him carved up. We've had enough bad publicity as it is. Well, what about the hooker? What about her? Did you talk to her? Yeah, court. Well, yes. No, I didn't. I talked to her enough. What are you driving at? Did it ever occur to you that someone who hits up businesses like this might have a few enemies, huh? And maybe, just maybe, that the same kind of business here get leveled all across the county? There's some kind of connection? Well, aren't we professional all of a sudden? After turning the integrity of this entire police department into a barroom brawl, I'll tell you something. I want no part of this. In fact, you can have this job all together. Come on, Owen. My, my. They usually come solo. Sometimes they come in pairs, but... Uh, goodness, a bonanza. This another college research paper? 
No, not exactly. Uh, Josh, while you guys get wired in here, I'm gonna go check out the pool. What are you guys, building inspectors? Or cops? Look, I need to talk to you about Sam Farabee. The man you killed? Look, Bob, I didn't kill nobody, and I've had just about enough jokes about it. Some guy wants to go extracurricular and blow a valve, that's his business. Do I look like a killer? Uh, actually, uh, I've never... This doesn't help my reputation, you know. I got a lot of old guys. I mean, it's not... What the hell is he doing? Look, what were you saying about Faraday? It wasn't like it said in the papers. Exactly. Exactly how was it? Wait a minute. I know you. The bank robbery. The guy with the nickels? Dimes. Yeah, that guy. Hey, nice moves. So? The guy was dead when I got there. He was in hog heaven, sitting up in bed with a drink in one hand and a fat cigar in the other. He like on duty? I'll tell you something. For about one second, I thought you'd change since I was wiping you off the streets, but you want to know something? You're just as reckless as you ever were. Look, I talked to the hooker. The one the Fairby was supposed to be with. What do you mean, supposed to be? Well, he was dead when she got there. It was all arranged. What are you talking about? She was paid off. Somebody paid her off anonymously. Look, Bones, look, I don't care what you think about me personally, okay? But I decided to do this job. I can do it without you if I have to, but I'd like you to be there, okay? Think about it, all right? I've never done anything like this before. Come on, you can't have an autopsy without a body, Morton. You can't have a murderer without an autopsy. I've never come face to face with a corpse before, Joshua. Look, didn't you have old man Sorensen for algebra? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Damn it, Horn, what are you doing? Where did you get that? I hot wired it. What? Oh, it's perfect. It's got a PTO shaft so we can winch the casket out. I don't like this. You gotta cop a better attitude, Mark. And so we stole the truck. And we stole the corpse. A moment. Okay, come on. Oh. 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 
Patience and skill. I'm about to remove the core. So you dug up Sam's body, huh? Yeah, that's right. Boy, that was really stupid. Because all you had to do was get a warrant. And the county would have done it for you. But I had a hunch you might be that lame, so I decided to go to the cemetery myself. Except, I couldn't find my truck. He stole my truck. You stole oh my truck! Hold it, hold it, hold it! Kill him! Someone gonna kill someone? Fine, what happened? Well, I could do more detailed analysis, take a few days, but it's really not necessary. It's obvious he died of massive coronary. That's it? Are you serious? Serious as a heart attack. You have no respect for your health. That is Farabee. What, Farabee didn't learn to smoke either? No, he claimed he was allergic. Hid my cigarettes in the garbage. Farabee didn't smoke. That's what I said. What about the hooker, Barbara? Didn't she say, uh, what, when they found Farabee's body, he had a drink in one hand? And a fat cigar in the other. You're working late, Dal. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> well, it's a hard job running a county, Josh. Sometimes you gotta rob Peter to pay Paul. How you doing out there? I'm doing good. good. Doing good, yeah. But you know how you said nothing ever goes wrong in this county? Yeah. <laughs> you were wrong, Dal. I've been investigating those roadside vandalisms. Did you find anything out? Well, I think it was a scheme to take over the land. And, uh, I think Farabee was involved in it. Farabee? Yeah. So I got to wondering, you know, and, um, and I, uh, talked to the state engineer. What? And he said that the state is going to build an aqueduct right over all those properties, you know? A lot of the ones that are already smashed. Now, who'd have guessed that? I don't understand. Well, the land's going to be worth a fortune. And you think they're connected? I don't know. <laughs> well, the information about the aqueduct, that's privilege. And, uh, well, the only people who have access to that information are the county supervisors. That's right. So, um, I think one of the supervisors was in on it with Farabee. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Hey, Bones. It's Bones. Yeah. What'd they say? Well, what do you know? Okay, thanks. So, what did Bones want? Oh, he talked to the state people and, uh, well, they're gonna reroute the entire aqueduct. Reroute it? Yeah. <laughs> it seems that uh, Harvey Pelser's place, you know, the oasis, well, it was right in the middle of where the aqueduct was supposed to be. And, uh, well, they also find out that it's a historical land site, and, uh, well, they can't move the building, but they're going to move the aqueduct. <laughs> <laughs> because of the building. <laughs>
deputy was throwing a cactus around the bar. You should have seen it, man. It was great. This is Alan Harry. This is Joshua Bodine. I'd like you to rearrange your lips, pal. Making me look pretty stupid on the little calls of the radio station there, Keith. What are you doing here, Josh? The makeup, huh? Who would have guessed your little face was underneath all this, huh?
some room, fellas. The Tesco's here. What do you know? I thought you believed in me, Dal. <laughs> Don't make a personal thing out of this, Joshua, okay? A good solid business venture. I just didn't think you were all that smart. You set me up, Dell! I did you a favor. I took a worthless, shiftless kid and gave him respectability. No, you didn't. You gave me a job. That was it, a job. Respectability I earned. <sighs> One thing, you know, what really happened to Fairview? He got greedy. He wanted a bigger piece of the pie. I threatened him back. The old fool died of a heart attack. How was I supposed to handle that? Cigar in one hand, drink in the other. It's a fair way to go, huh? What I don't understand is how did you know? I didn't. I played a hunch. I hoped I was wrong. What'd you call it, Del? Uh... Resourcefulness, right? Lord, give me the cuffs. I 
I'm gonna have to ask you to put your hands behind you. Mr. Raines. Read him his rights. Mr. Raines, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to interpret. Mr. It's funny, isn't it? The illusions you have about people. I guess we both feel pretty stupid right now. Yeah. Well, at least now we have something in common. Chief. And therefore, we have decided to retain your services based upon your successful and inordinate actions, leading to the arrest of... Well, you know the rest. You are aware of our concerns regarding your behavior. I intend to act in a more careful and methodical mode of law enforcement and refrain from... Uh, any recklessness? Precisely. All right. All right. Thanks. Yeah. We've got dinner reservations in Phoenix at 7. We're never going to make it. Oh, make it. <laughs> Today, Defense Secretary Frank Carlucci, also Kirk Douglas, Jeff Bridges, and a preview of the first night game at Wrigley. This week on Today. And tomorrow night, she was an innocent woman who found the perfect man. Then she found out what he did for a living. Melissa Gilbert and Joe Penny star in Blood Bows, the story of a mafia wife. Tomorrow night, only on NBC.